welcome to the channel this video is for mbbs first year students or maybe also for students who are about to join mbbs somewhere so as we know that in the first year mbbs we have to deal with three important subjects anatomy physiology biochemistry i've kept anatomy at the start because this is probably the most difficult subject in the first year mbbs because it's mostly you know a test of your memory it is about rote memorization it's not it's 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 like facts you go to your anatomy dissection hall you dissect a particular organ you remember its relations you remember its blood supply nerve supply and all and then you go back and read and remember from these books that's what anatomy is it's about facts you see you memorize and luckily we have a very good book this book everyone reads bd chirasia human anatomy four volumes good book concise you will do good in any exam or any question from anatomy if you cover this book now specifically you have a volume 1 which deals with upper limb and thorax you have a volume 2 which deals with lower limb abdomen so these are very important now coming to head and neck again important but neuroanatomy okay you can skip this part you know this volume 4 because you're going to read a different a different book for neuroanatomy right so for anatomy for general anatomy everything is clear it's bd chirasia what about students grades big grades i don't think it's really required see even if you think that you're going to make good beautiful concepts reading gray and at grays anatomy and then you're you're supposed to remember i mean recall it at the time of your post graduate entrance exam i don't think anybody has such a memory to remember this particular subject for five long years to have some benefit in an exam that you know is five years later forget it i think bd chirasi is more than enough no need to buy rock this grays students obviously never buy a big big the, the big grays the original grays okay so human anatomy by bd chirasi is enough second you have an awesome series of dissection videos on youtube free aklan video atlas you can download the full series watch it at home before you go to the dissection hall the next day right beautiful and it's absolutely free now it's also advised that before you do the dissection of human cadavers in your anatomy dissection hall you revise an atlas you know beforehand or even when you're reading anatomy from bd chirasi it's very helpful to have an atlas of human body by your side there are many options netter for example here or when grays has an atlas or i i mean i prefer this atlas by macmillan you can use any one of these atlases there's no preference any i mean every single of these atlases will have all the image so while you're reading anatomy from bd chirasia or when you're about to go to your dissection hall i even used to carry one of these atlas books with me to the dissection hall so that i'm okay clear here's the cadaver here's the structure here is how it looks in the book here is how it looks on that cadaveric body right very useful Now there are two more subject, two more sort of sub subjects of anatomy. One is histology. This is rather, you know, sort of a subject. You know, you'll be having your histology labs. You'll be shown the slides of the microstructure of particular organ or tissue. I think the same moment, the same day, you take this atlas of histology, De Fourie's atlas. We used to read this beautiful book. Take it, read it there. Forget about it. You know, you don't have to consider this as a separate subject. Just read it in your lab when you're seeing the slides of histology. Just keep it by at the standby and just refer to it whenever needed. But embryology is one subject that you know, if you read from a good book in first year MBBS, it's important. of course for the first year mbbs but also subsequently when you read pathology when you read surgery you many a times are are supposed to revise embryology so this is a small book read it well and thoroughly in your first year mbbs this will help you even in subsequent you know uh, professional exams even in final year surgery or for that matter any time in your career embryology is important so read this book by lagman a wide indian authored books especially in first year mbbs for embryology you know 
things like in their beer sink and all i never used to like those books but for anatomy yes bd Chirassia, yes you have to have an atlas any atlas is good you can buy netted you can buy magnet for an for atlas of histology buy this defodes one read embryology from langman and what about neuroanatomy you got two excellent resources one is this book called clinical neuroanatomy by richard snell it's a little advanced book but it's very useful book and you know it, it gives you a sound base for neurology and neurosurgery you know in in, in the in the subsequent years and you have a beautiful lecture series by dr najib all his all his neuroanatomy neurophysiology videos are excellent watch them to have a thorough understanding of the concepts and i'm going to tell you about one more resource on neuroanatomy particularly at the end of this video so do watch till the end now coming to subject number two which is generally the most favorite of all the first year mbba students of physiology see everyone hates anatomy i used to hate anatomy you know it was a horror to to to, to face an exam of anatomy why because this was rote memorization but physiology is beautiful in a way that there are concepts that you can remember there are concepts that you can use and learn every day right and you have two books here we have the guyton and all and we have the genong now, now please read the title genong is a review of medical physiology please don't buy it as a as a first a book of physiology read guyton thoroughly then if you have time if you have you know more enthusiasm to learn more physiology you can buy genong and read it but one book that's must read for first year MBBS physiology is Guyton and Hall. Guyton and Hall, Guyton and Hall. Genong is kind of an accessory book. It's, it's an add-on book, but not as a basic book. You'll have a hard time reading it if you read straight Genong, right? If you read Guyton and Hall and then as an add-on read, read Genong, it will make sense. Okay. Even I didn't read Genong in my first year MBBS. I subsequently in my final year MBBS or even in my internship, I tried to read some part of the Genog. Coming to biochemistry, it's not, you know, a very big subject. It's not a very small subject at the same time. By, for that matter, no subject in MBBS is small. You have two books, Harper, a concise book. And I love this Indian book uh, by Vasudevan. You know, these books, both of them are equally good. I would, if, if you ask me which one of these two, I would, I would recommend this book by Vasudevan. I was in love with this book, right? Very, very good book. Now, I, 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 I recall you, you just crossed one entrance exam. You just crossed NEET UG, you know, You're, you've entered a college. College is going to be a beautiful journey. College is going to be a lot of learning and a lot of fun please do not join coaching institutes. Please don't join marrow, prep ladder, or whatever things. They're not meant for first year MBBS students. Read these books, enjoy your time in your, in, your, in your practical labs, physiology labs, or anatomy dissection halls, or some other things like doing biochemistry practicals. Enjoy your time in, in first year MBBS. No need to join any coaching. Now, as I mentioned that one, one resource that I, I can, I'll tell you at the end of this video, which will be again an add-on. I don't want you to go and buy Kaplan lecture notes and then start reading them as the first resource. They're not meant for that. They're review books. They're review material for a particular exam. These books, especially I'll, I'll refer you to two of these, you know, subjects from Kaplan. One is biochemistry and medical genetics, beautifully written. Watch their videos as well. Second, the, the, the part on neuroanatomy. That is extremely well written. If you understand the neuroanatomy portion from Kaplan USMLE Step 1 notes, see those videos. I guarantee you will not need any resource even for neurology in your final year MBPS. That is, you know, the best possible explanation and understanding of neurology and neuroanatomy combined and neurophysiology combined in that particular book of USMLE Step 1. So there'll be kind of add-ons, but by and large, I've covered what all books you need to purchase, what all books you need to read, and what are the extra or additional books. I hope you, you found this video pretty useful. Thank you.